Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Tastytrade Desktop version 2.40. This is a brand new release that just came out to our platform at the end of the day yesterday, August 30th. If you've gone ahead and signed out, you should see that your platform should update to 2.40. If you see a different version of the platform here at the top, go ahead and click on sign out in the bottom left hand corner and then relaunch your app and sign back in and you should see that your desktop platform has been upgraded to 2.40. This is a really great release, adds a bunch of new features and tools that all of you will certainly enjoy. And off the bat, let's go ahead and jump into our biggest update here, which is the ability to place bracket orders on existing option spreads. This has been requested a lot, and now you can do it within our positions tab. All you're going to need to do is just go ahead and click on both legs or all legs of your option spread up to four legs. Once you have those legs selected, right click and a quick action menu will appear the bottom of our quick action menu we can click on bracket and now we're taken to our bracket order screen where you can enter your take profit and stop loss point and here on our left we see our opening order here for when we initially opened our position set it based on a percentage or a flat price and once you're ready you can click on review and send get a breakdown of your trade and then click on send once you're ready to get that bracket order working in this case, we're just going to clear it out for now. That's brackets on option spreads. Next, we also have a very nice new setting here for our stock and ETF traders. You can now set bracket orders on outright stock and ETFs at a percentage below 1%. So if you wanted to set a default stock order percentage, all you got to do is click on the little settings gear icon here in the top right, and then go to the trade module. And then navigate to stocks right here and in our default stock bracket order here we can set our percentage below one percent previously the minimum was one percent now you can go down to 0.01 percent especially if you're looking to take a few pennies on some higher price stocks uh, you can set it to 0.1 percent 0.01 percent all the way up to a hundred percent in this case we do 0.05 and now that is our default bracket order stop loss percent. When we go to open up a bracket order on a stock, we'll see that the default pricing there that's set up uh, for our order entry is based on those percentages. So it just saves you some time at order entry if you're always setting it at the same percentage. Next, in our positions tab, we also have some nice new columns here that were originally also in the trade tab, but we've gone ahead and added them in here as well. You can now go into our settings again on our top right. Once we're here, we can go to accounts positions and on our left side, we have our displayed and on our right side, we have our not displayed. We go ahead and add in our new columns here, which is gonna be the in the money percent, out of the money percent, our open interest column, volume column, we also have the probability of touch, theoretical price, and the options implied volatility. So we can add in all those new columns here, mostly related to options trading here. So we have the open interest and the implied volatility in the money, out of the money percent for options, either it be futures or equities. Once we have those in our displayed section, we click OK. And now we can see all of these metrics for each of these options. We could check out the volatility for each of these strikes. You know, what's the open interest? What's the volume looking like for each of these strikes as well? Um, even then, we could see the volume for Apple here at the top too, just the outright stock. So a bunch of great new columns that you can add to your positions tab if it's a applicable information to you. Otherwise, you can leave it in your not displayed section. So nice little addition there for your portfolio management. Other than that, within our positions tab, we do have a great new tool or feature here called the portfolio allocation tree. So if we navigate again to the top right of our positions tab here and click on cap rec, this button right here, and then we go ahead and click on allocation. There we go. We can go ahead and see that we have a distribution here across the futures, some stock, crypto will also show here. 
it's a very basic day one iteration. We're definitely going to be adding some more features and some better customization here in our allocation tree, but it kind of just gives you a better sense of your other your device diversification, you know, kind of portfolio allocation of where, where your funds are across asset classes and symbols. If we wanted to exit this window, we could just click on the X. Additionally, uh, we do have the added feature of having some more transaction displays. So if we go year to date here on our transaction display and we start scrolling, you'll notice that quite a few more lines are getting auto-generated. Previously, you'd have to uh, scroll down to the bottom here and you saw that little loading screen. So if you are one that likes to download or or kind of keep track of your transactions in an Excel file and want to make sure that you're having all the lines for the date filtered. Uh, the added transaction lines here should make everyone's life a little bit easier. And then you can go ahead and download all your transactions by clicking on the CSV button up here. And that about rounds off our update here. I think one last thing we can touch on as well is that we do have an added functionality here within our risk analysis tool found in the cap rec window. If we were to queue up a trade here, maybe let's go over to a little TSM. If we buy a or sell a strangle on TSM, first we start in the trade tab, queue up our order, and then you go to positions, cap rec. We'll go risk analysis and then add order legs. We can see our strangle that we just had queued up in our order ticket now viewed in our risk analysis tool. What's nice is that you can now adjust the quantity of spreads you have here. So as you're analyzing, adding new positions to your portfolio when analyzing your risk, this is a really nice feature, especially if you're looking to, you know, kind of up your quantities when you're possibly hedging or uh, something along those lines. So very nice new features all in desktop 2.40. Had a handful of charting bug fixes as well and small upgrades. You can check out our release notes for any more information found in the Tasty Trade Help Center. Otherwise, have a nice rest of your day and catch you on the next set of notes.